Hi everyone, it's Veronica. How are you? Happy Wednesday. Here I am with all of our gorgeous treasures. If you are just joining us, please go ahead, say hello. Let us know where you're from. I'm Veronica Stout. I'm the founder of Vintage Meet Modern Jewelry and Styling. And here we are. We are here with our Wednesday night vintage jewelry trunk show. And I am showing off all of our latest finds. And we've got so many gorgeous ones to choose from. So welcome, welcome. I'm so glad to have you take some time out of your busy day. And let's get right to it and talk about some of the amazing pieces that we have this evening. Hello, Rhonda. So nice to see you. Uh, I hope that it is nice where you are. Hello, Amy. Please let me know if you can hear me okay, as well as see the picture. I know we've had some issues in the past. We had a little bit of issues right before I got on, which is why I'm running a little late. But here I am, and I'm so glad to see everyone. And so I'm starting off today right away by showing you this is the double strand golden toned beaded necklace that we have. This one is a double strand. I'm wearing it torsade style so that I like it a little bit um, with a little bit of graduation in the front. Uh, it does have a decorative clasp on it that features some filigree bead work. It has like a little bit of an oval shaped clasp and then it has some seed pearl detailing with it. And then it also has got some kind of golden luminescent beads in it. I think some people might think that this has got a fall look to it, but I think that it's one of these ones that looks really great all times of year, especially because it has that uh, like that golden glow type feel to it. And now you can certainly be able to wear the clasp in the back and wear it a little bit more traditionally. And you can also see that it will hang a little bit lower um, when you do it like that. It looks really pretty actually if you actually have a little bit of a higher neckline like I'm showing you. Um, there. I love that shirt on you. Lots of jewelry will look great with it. Well, that's the reason why I picked this one. And that's a perfect example of finding a top or finding a blouse. And I'm sorry if I'm, this is that camera. It's just the way that it is. It's not like an iPhone camera. When it's like an iPhone camera, you look right in and you like see yourself as a reflection. When I use this camera and I'm looking back at the screen, everything is shifted the other direction. So I have to remind myself if something looks crooked, um, then I have to move it back. Um, T. Marie says, I've been been watching all your YouTube videos and I love the history behind it. Well, thank you. I'm glad. That's why we put a lot of the, that's why we put so many videos up on YouTube. And that's the reason why we're trying to put more videos on YouTube. So I really appreciate that. Uh, for those of you who are joining us on Facebook tonight, Leanne will put a link to our YouTube channel on there. Please go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel because it is actually really easy to find the videos and the replays on YouTube. I actually find it to be a little bit more friendly than Mark Zuckerberg's big Facebook planet, but I like getting to hang out with everybody on both. There's a lot of nice community and uh, it's just a lot of fun getting to be with everybody either way. Whatever makes you comfortable, whatever is most user friendly. I think though that um, Team Marie just went ahead and she said that, you know, it's easy to go back and search and that's exactly what I feel. I feel it's just easier to go and search the videos because then you can just click videos and you can see the description and you're good to go. But this is that double stranded necklace and it, there's a couple other things that I really do like about it besides the fact that it's got nicer quality beads is that there are some little aspirin cut uh, Aurora Borealis. You see that I'm kind of like twirling this one around on the string bead. This is one of the uh, aspirin cut rhinestones that are in it, which means that it is, it's a round, but instead of being faceted all the way. It has like a flat bead on one side and the other. So it just lays against it. But that's a perfect example of how when I was spinning it around, you can see the way that the um, light catches it differently. So it's a really, really nice piece. Uh, and this one features a V cushion style clasp. And then, like I said, it has this really pretty decorative class. The decorative class, I'm sure, is probably more indicative of being a West German style piece. But it does have sort of the filigree work as well as the addition of the leaves that are over on top of this sort of cognac colored rhinestones on it. And it has a very Miriam Haskell style feel with that particular feature. So I do like that one a lot. Okay, up next, another so some other really fun, great classic pieces that we have. Tonight, these are another one of my favorites. We just have a double pearl earring. 
this is a pierced earring. It's a vintage one. Anne says, yes, a beautiful clasp on that necklace. And that's exactly what it is. It's all about the details so often. So this is a very nice pair of double pearl earrings. Uh, if you'll remember, maybe about a decade ago, it was really popular that Christian Dior had come and they had done all these big double pearl earrings. And that's exactly what the style of these are. They're like the double pearl ones that you saw that were popular in the early 2000s uh, for Christian Dior. And these are very well made. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a signature on these. There's not. But given the quality of them, you know, some people ask me, you know, why do you pick up the pieces that aren't signed? And why do you pick up the pieces um, that look something that could even be more contemporary? And a lot of it really does have to do with how you feel it. When you pick up these vintage earrings and these pearl earrings, they're different than the ones that you do pick up now very casually that are mass produced. They're heavier. They have a gold post at the top. So they're threaded all the way through. There's no knacker wear, meaning any of the little um, that's the pearl coating that usually goes on the outside. And that's the difference between the higher quality faux pearls and then the faux pearls that are just the plastic coated ones. The ones that have a higher quality knacker, it feels cool to the touch. It doesn't feel scratchy much the way you get the grit on a real pearl, but you can certainly tell with the way that the pearl, uh, that the bead has been coated, that it has been coated very similar to the way that a knacker would be on a higher end pearl. So we're thinking about our Majorica, our pearls that come from Spain. Oh my gosh. Hi, Jennifer. We haven't seen you in a while. It's nice to see you too. Yes. And Megan says that I love the pearls. I got some and a matching bypass rings. And yes, exactly. And so one of my favorite pieces to actually wear with the pearl earring is this gigantic, fun, huge pearl cocktail ring that we have. And the reason why is because the millimeter size that you see that is so reminiscent uh, in such a nice, large, kapow, bubblegum style is very similar to the size and the shape of the earring that I'm showing to you. So for those of you who like that overstated sort of couture French styling, uh, 1980s glam, Chanel, Dior, Gucci, all of those, you can really get that look and that feel by putting some of these pieces together. So these are definitely some of my favorites. And again, thank you, Megan, at the very beginning of the evening who had mentioned my blouse. This is a perfect example. I think I've had this blouse for at least five years. And it was something that I picked up at Nordstrom Rack. Uh, and it's just one of those things that I wear it dressed up and I dress, wear it dressed down. Uh, I wear it tucked into skirts. I've worn it under blazers. I have worn it with pants. I've worn it with jeans. I mean, it's just a great top. It's a good investment. And it's a perfect example of how that you can take something and really enjoy wearing it over and over again by adding different jewelry and accessories to it. So this is a pair of beautiful double pearl earrings. This is the ring that I would go ahead and put with it. This is Mr. Michael stopping by to say hello. He'll be back to do our drawing in a little while, okay? I'll call you back when it's time. Wait, did you say drawing? Yeah, you're going to pull the name for us later. Okay? You mean the drawing. You know what I mean. You're going to pull the name out of the hat. The drawing. Oh, oh drawing. drawing. All right, I'll call you when it's time. Don't worry. Okay? Everybody has to stick around to see who wins the $25 gift card later. Mr. Michael will be back. He's he, oh he's gonna draw us a narwhal. Well, he's he's still very much into narwhal and jelly. Uh, still, he still loves those Ben Clayton books, so which are really sweet. So for those of you who have children who are in that kindergarten through first, second, third age grow group, yes, I can't believe how much he's grown up too. But he's my little buddy. He is just he's he's the best. So okay. Another really fun piece to pop on. Uh, we have a great pair of C. Uh, and N earrings. These are one of those higher end style earrings that were from, uh, you know, our legs of HSN and QVC along the lines of the same designers from Real Collectibles by Adrian, Joan Rivers, Jose and Maria Barrera. Uh, this is a really fabulous pair of earrings that we have. And this one's got the great summer styling with it with the turquoise, uh, as well as the lighter and the dark blue rhinestones. So this is another great one. These earrings would make amazing shoe clips. That's 100% true. So a while back, 
I did a blog post, or I should say we did a collaboration with the girls from A Fascinating Life. And uh, they're just absolutely wonderful. They're beautiful people, beautiful bloggers. Um, one, one half of their dynamic duo, she's going through breast cancer right now. So definitely keep her in mind. Uh, but they also just recently did something featuring our earrings as shoe clips. So she did a great blog post all about it. You can check that out over out at A Fascinating Life. Uh, in addition to that, you can also see how she took several pairs of VMM earrings and turned them into shoe clips. And it was just a really great blog post as well as posts over on Instagram. So, and my bad for not sharing that sooner, but yes, these would make fantastic shoe clips. So that's another great pair that we have this evening. Excuse me. And okay. I will say everybody, everybody who's been going for the gold, we have got gold fever this week over here with the Olympics. You can tell with Mr. Michael being as the competitive person as he is, he absolutely loves watching all of the different competitions. Right now he is fascinated that the youngest person in the Olympics is age 12 and they are a master table tennis player and they are from Siberia. So we just happen to have a table tennis like cover on top of our pool table in the basement. So right now we're practicing because we think that it's very cool that a 12 year old is in the Olympics playing on the table tennis team. So, so there you go. <laughs> but we do have some really, really great gold, fabulous pieces. Now, when I look at these, look at these pieces, I really do think high end couture, really nice, beautiful pieces uh, from the 1990s and the 1980s era. These pieces are so reminiscent of the styles that were very popular with Versace and Gucci. Chanel did some things with coins in the 1980s. Uh, these are awesome because they also have the lion relief styles on them, uh, but definitely those really classic bold gold stylings. Uh, that so many of us remember from the supermodel days and just the age of opulence. And for those of you who just love being able to wear classic gold jewelry, these pieces lay amazing on. It is definitely part of the reason why they're designer jewelry from that 1980s era. It's heavy. It's well made. Uh, the 18 karat gold plating looks real. There's beautiful relief carving, the casting style of the lions on the coins, really nice detailing. None of this is plastic made in China looking at all. It's all very much higher end designer jewelry, same looks and feels and styles that you would have picked up, you know, at the fine department stores in the 1980s. So your Saks Fifth Avenue and your Neiman Marcus. Uh, so there's, this one is the coin necklace. There is a matching pair of earrings that are pierced that go with it. This is another really fabulous pair. Uh, it's a double coin style. So it's got a little bit of the gold at the top. It's got like a little button and then it has the little lion relief below. So this is a nice statement earring and these are pierced. So we've got those that are really fabulous and awesome. Then another piece that's also part of this collection, this all came from the same design. It all came from the same collector too. And she had purchased all of these pieces uh, at Neiman Marcus in the 1980s and the 1990s. So, and then I have a flat link necklace, which also has a very high end couture styling to it. And this one lays flat. So again, you can see how this one lays across your neckline. See, I mean, there we go. This one just lays so beautifully and it looks great. If you saw my video actually on YouTube, I talked about how all of these pieces look really nice with solid colors. So if you are a solid color person, this is the perfect type of piece to really elevate and really make your look really come together uh, and make it really distinctive. So this one is another really fabulous piece. This has got the relief style design to it and then it's got the beautiful lines on it. It also obviously goes super nicely with the earrings. We had a bracelet, the bracelet already sold. So that one's already off to a new home. And we had the earrings, I showed you the earrings. And then we have a French coin style necklace. This one, there's a picture of me wearing this one during the week. This one is a longer piece. And so this one creates a nice 
line across your body if you want to make yourself look thinner. Uh, also, for those of you who like longer pendant style necklaces, I'm a huge fan of longer pendant style necklaces. Uh, this one has got a French style coin on it, and it's another really big, gorgeous necklace, and it's a very nice, heavy 18 karat gold plating on this one, too. Very, very easy to wear. Just very classic and elegant, a beautiful piece that we have, and so this one is another one that is definitely worth taking a closer look at. I really like that one a lot. Another cool piece that came from the same collector is this one sort of has a French inspired design to it. Sort of reminds me a little bit of a fleur de lis. You can always kind of tell where people sort of kind of all kind of collect the same thing because there's another piece that's actually a fleur de lis um, that was from the same collector. So this one is the collared necklace. I would not be surprised if this was Vendome from the 1960s era. Oh my goodness. I don't know how everybody else is. The flies are really bad here and we're having some work done outside on our deck. And I feel like every time we open the door just to even go check on something or to answer a question, like they just magically get in. So that is actually the reason why I was running late today. I was determined to try to get that one, but it just, it will not leave me be. This is the gold necklace that has got the fleur de lis style pendant on it. It also has got this collar that is like an articulated style that's basically put into three different sections. Uh, this one is also on a J hook, so you can adjust it. You can make it a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. Uh, and it's another great one that fills the neck really pretty. This one's got a unique style design because it's not really a choker or a collar, but it kind of has the looks and feelings of a choker and a collar. But at the same time, it also has uh, the look of being a statement pendant or a statement necklace too. And the interesting thing is, is like I said, is when I work with people, sometimes I get all the pieces that will come from their estate or from their collection. And you can tell that this person really had an affinity for these sorts of styles of design because the same fleur de -lis brooch that we have came from the same collector. So this is the fleur de -lis brooch. This one is not signed, but it does have the feeling of in an art mode or a gold dot or an accessor craft from this era. Uh, it's an antique gold tone, but the gold is so faint. It could also look like almost a patina silver as well. So I do think that if you're a silver lover, you really could appreciate the brooch as well. This one has a piece of lapis glass a carnelian, it has a domed amber style, a piece of Peking glass, and then a glass piece of turquoise in it. Uh, this one is just a really beautiful piece to be able to add to a brooch collection. It does have a nice pop of color in terms of coloring. You can even see that even though I have a dark color on, you can see the way that the multicolored stones uh, actually do pop against even dark colors. And this one's a nice size and scale. But it does have a very rich, very decadent look to it. I certainly always like the addition of anything that has the addition of the higher end mogul style stones that were so popular in the 60s era. So this one's another great find that we have. I do like the size and the scale of it. I think it's easy to wear. And I think against clean, crisp white, it actually would really pop really, really beautifully. So even though I have on black today, and you can certainly wear it with black if you're somebody who loves black. I think that this would lend itself to a lot of different colors. And I think that this would pop really nicely against brighter colors. So another fun one that you should go and take a closer look at. And you should certainly think of adding it to your collection. It's really, truly meant to be for someone. Well, and as long as we're talking about the Olympics and we're talking about crowns, this one is also the triple crown from Sweden. So this is, and this one is a very higher end piece as well. This one is signed uh, Sporong. It's an S-P-O-R-R-O-N-G. It is actually dated from the 40s era, 40s, 50s era. And this is actually a gold filled setting. And it is, it's heavy. It is very well made. And then this is a glassed enameled work. And then it has got these three little applique crowns uh, that have been set into it. But this one is a really beautiful, very gorgeous dynamic coloring in it. Very rich, very elegant. Uh, the royal blue color is just absolutely fabulous. And for those of you who like pieces that have a little bit of history, a little bit of collectability, 
You also appreciate those little royal accents to things. This one is another really pretty piece. It also came from the same collector. So you can see the way that people would actually build their collections. This is kind of a nice little window into someone else's jewelry box in their particular styling. So if you gravitate towards these sort of styles, you can think to yourself, oh, there was another woman who certainly had similar tastes that I did and appreciated adding these treasures to her look too. I love the fleur de lis brooch and the gold necklace. I love that jewelry looks like a family crest or anything having to do with heraldry. Yes, exactly. There's a feeling of royalty and distinction with all of these pieces that I'm showing you right now. And that's what I was saying. Like, that's the fun part about it is all of these three specific pieces came from the specific same estate. Uh, and she really did like things that had some form of royalty history, uh, legacy, sort of the preservation of details type things. Uh, and definitely she also enjoyed a nod to Europe and those types of traveling uh, in a specifically like in the European era. So you're thinking everything from Italy to France, uh, to Sweden, to Scandinavia. She really did enjoy to travel as well, too. So really cool pieces that we have. Um, and these are definitely really fun ones. And don't worry, there's like tons of good energy that comes from them, too. So for those of you who believe that like someone else's positive, um, beautiful jewelry is living on with you, you can you can best believe it. You can best, best believe it. So they are definitely gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. And they just look so nice with so many other things we have. So we have got those now speaking of more traditional designs we have a couple really beautiful monet pieces this week too so this is a uh, monet uh, monet and this one sort of has kind of like a geometric sort of a soft squared geometric shape in the center sort of a little bit like an id style uh, it reminds me also a little bit of a horse bit link. We see kind of the geometric style, even when we see the horse bit link. Uh, I know Monet, uh, Elaine is one of my Monet collectors, and she well likes to look at them. So we've got a great bracelet. Nothing is wrong or dangling off of it. It actually still has the original safety chain on it. I'm just not going to do it right now at the same time. But it has the original safety chain on it. We have a very sweet pair of matching Monet earrings that are like a little double crest. These are a pierced. For those of you who are looking for something that is uh, just a really great jewelry box staple, we've got a really, and, and many people, that's why I always tell people, like that is the fun part about collecting the pieces that are of the very higher quality. I think Teresa might have told us that she's also a Monet collector. The beauty of the Monet jewelry is, is that it's really very well made and really great American made jewelry. Uh, it made out on the East Coast and the pieces, even though they were sold at all kinds of different varieties of department stores and that many of their designs were very popular. It says a lot about them being as timeless as they are, as well as how beautiful they look when they're even 40, 50, 60 years old. These are a really beautiful pair. They're very nice, well balanced. Um, they're kind of like a little crescent shape with like a little double loop. You can tell they have a look of real. We've got that white Monet bangle. And, you know, I just wanted to let you know, this bracelet is from the 1970s and it said it was $16.49 then. If someone goes and looks up what the exchange rate was in the 1970s for 1649, you're going to see that this piece was a very well-made piece even back then. I wish I would know what department store this one came from. I'm guessing it actually probably was from Marshall Fields because I had similar pieces from the same collector that were from Marshall Fields and those pieces did still have the tag on them, but they weren't from Monet. But that's just a, one of the cool little details about it. You have to remember all of these pieces, ex, again, very high quality, very well made. This one also has a safety chain that's on it. And it also has that, oh, see now I did it the wrong way even on myself. And if I look like I still have white on me, like white in my hair, I'm still painting. I'm still painting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's hard. It's hard doing as much as I do with the kids and the business and my family and everything else, which is the reason why I love being able to do this. I can hear Michael with the ping pong ball downstairs again. 
he's going to be determined to be in the Olympics. Yeah, so exactly. Michelle says the exchange rate would be $78 today. So there you go. So when you're thinking of higher quality pieces, that's exactly what we're talking about. We're talking about the higher quality pieces that you can truly enjoy and have them be with you for a lifetime. And you can feel good about what you're investing in now, knowing that it was already a pretty luxurious piece back then. So I was like determined to put it on, even though I'm probably going to just take it off in just a moment. But that is that the milk glass bangle. And I do like it with this earring. And then this is, like I said, this is sort of like a horse bit style type link or a double link. Uh, and they both have their safety chains on them and they're new old stock too. So that's really cool. Also, these are all pieces that have never been worn. Uh, they're just waiting for you. So Oh my, I would have had to done a lot of babysitting, right? <laughs> right? Yes. I did a lot of babysitting. I nannied all throughout high school. I nannied all throughout college. I nannied a lot. So, all right. Speaking of white, another great piece to wear. Speaking of as long as I've got the gold earrings, we've got a really fabulous, this is the Lucite necklace with the barrel clasp on it. This is another one that I really like being able to just put on with the classic black and white. This is another one that's a really fun one, really easy to be able to wear. Um, and this one's got the knotted details on it, and it goes really great with the other classic gold earrings we have. So this one's another fabulous, awesome piece that we have. And then we have some really awesome rhinestone pieces this week, too. So earrings have been hot 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 here at vintage meat modern i think it's because a lot of people are wearing their hair up so we have got some great beautiful earring pieces as well as well as some really fabulous brooches so this one by far i'm gonna say is my favorite <laughs> i usually start off the show at the very beginning of the evening with my favorites but i was so excited over the gold jewelry that all the gold jewelry was my favorite but if I had to pick a favorite brooch tonight, this one is it. I love the coloring. So this one has got this sort of very light purple. It's almost an Alexandrite color. It is a pale blue, but it can also flash just a hint of purple. It is set in this gold tone, sort of floral medallion-like setting. And then it has this elegant accent of this black enamel work going along those very large pear shapes. Uh, so this one is fabulous. By the way, also, Megan got a haircut. She looks fantastic, by the way. Uh, very, very nice new haircut, my dear. And so this is the brooch. Let me see if I can get the rollover. And I just, I love this. And I love the way that it just has that really beautiful little accent of the black enamel with the purpley color, the purpley blue, uh, lavendery blue. But it's another one of those color changing stones that it's going to be with different things. Oh my goodness. Megan said she took 23 inches off. That's a lot of inches. <laughs> that is a lot. That is wonderful. Congratulations to you. So this is the floral medallion style brooch, but I like this one because it goes really nicely with a lot of the classic gold jewelry that we have with the other types of, I should have left this pair of earrings on because this pair of earrings would go fabulous with this brooch. So this is another just absolutely fabulous, very smashing, very high end. Uh, this is another reason why I like being able to have a couple tops like this. This is one that looks great that, you know, you can easily be able to pin things up to the side even during the summer. So this is another very beautiful, definitely a higher end designer piece. This one is not signed, but it's again, it has the look and the feel of an uh, art mode. It has a feeling of a Vendome. Uh, it has a lot of the same sort of styling and the work in the back of it. It's closed back with just a tiny little bit of open back stones. Very nice detailing, no dark underneath any of the stones. It's just a really, really beautiful piece, a gorgeous one. Not that we don't, you know, we always have gorgeous pieces. Up next, another, we got very lucky again, we worked with the same rhinestone collector. Uh, these are a pair of vintage Eisenberg ice and they're pierced. So how cool is that? Again, we don't get too many pierced earrings, but we do have a really fabulous pair of Eisenberg ice earrings. So these are great for those of you who are looking for something that is pierced as well as a signed Art Deco styling. 
great, great pair of earrings that we have here. Tons of sparkle. So this is a really fabulous, awesome pair. And we've got several pieces that would go very nicely with it. We've got a sterling silver looped necklace. This one is a sterling silver and it has a little bit of a loop on it. So for those of you who like being able to mix your statement earrings with something more minimal. Also, I do know that we have some people that are always looking for the classic sterling silver pieces. So we've got this little sterling silver, little classic looped necklace. Pulling that up over there again. Okay, we're centered. And then we've got the Eisenberg Ice earrings. So this is another awesome pair that we have. We've got this. Uh, let's see what else that we have that's awesome in the rhinestone family. We've got a lot of gorgeous rhinestone pieces. Uh, we have a purple. So this one I refer to as the princess style necklace. This one has these beautiful oval marquee style stones as well as it's got this gorgeous purple stone in the center. And this one looks like it's fit out of a 1950s. If anyone decided that they needed, <laughs> I, I, I just added the arm party collection. Woo! -hoo! Yes. I love a good arm party. Okay. Who doesn't love this necklace? I don't know if it's just because I it like the original pictures of it like were not fantastic, but this necklace looks like it is perfect for anyone who really truly um, wants to feel like royalty. This looks like something straight out of Kate Middleton or Princess Diana or even Princess Margaret's jewelry box. It feels just so gorgeous on. And it's all of the different details on it that make it so absolutely smashing. It's the fact that it has the marquee cut stones that are set into the chain. It's the fact that it has got the oval style pendant and then it has a larger style. It's not even just like a smaller style. It still has a very nice large setting of rhinestones going around it. And then I think it's the design that makes it just pulls you in and really gives you that higher end look when you're looking at it because the chain lays so beautifully that it just sparkles from all different angles. And I attribute that to the fact that it has the variation of the different size stones uh, that have been set along the setting with the closed back with the rhodium plating. You don't see so much the prong detailing as you see that you've got all of these little faceted crystals. So, and it just, it lays really beautifully. So for those of you who are looking to really add something that's a wow to your collection, or if you love collecting those princess style pieces, this one definitely fills into the category of it. And it's just, it's a nice size. It's a nice shape. Uh, so, and it's, it's a little bit longer too, very comfortable, very easy to wear. And as you can see, it goes very lovely with other classic rhinestone jewelry. So for those of you who love classic rhinestone pieces, this one is definitely one worth taking a closer look at. So I love this one too. This is another fabulous piece that we have. And all the rhinestones, all the rhinestone pieces also came from a rhinestone collector that actually lived a couple towns over for me and my daughters volunteer at one of our local churches. Uh, they both help work the vacation Bible school room and the youth group room. And they also get ready for a few big church sales as well as they are beginning to do more with some of the little senior trips and the little day trips again. And so my daughters were helping out and they were volunteering over at St. Dennis's and they had got this call. They said, mom, there's this lady who has all this beautiful rhinestone jewelry and she wants you to come and see it because she heard that you like vintage jewelry and she didn't know people liked it anymore. And I was like, what? I was like, don't worry. I was like, and so she had all these gorgeous rhinestone pieces. So all of these rhinestone pieces that you see, they all came from the same person. And so that's also the reason why so many of the rhinestone earrings are pierced because she also liked pierced earrings too. So these are a nice higher end pierced hoop. 
Uh, in terms of rhinestones, again, people ask me what's the difference between picking up a vintage rhinestone hoop versus costume jewelry that we see. And the answer always is in the plating, in the way the stones are set, in the size and the scale and in the detailing. So this is, again, for those of you who like a hoop, this is a great pair. Uh, it has the little French back on it so that the little pierce actually goes ahead and it sits in its own little basket, very comfortable against the ear. So this is another great pair. I really like these. And obviously for those of you who are still admiring this necklace, like I said, if you put it on, you're not gonna wanna take it off. That's how it feels when you put it on. <laughs> Uh, also, for those of you who like the classic little detailings, this was another pair that she had in her collection. This is a pair of pearls. Um, this is a vintage Japan. It's a little Trinity style pearl, and it has the accent of some little rhinestone detailing. It has a mill grain effect uh, with the setting. I couldn't resist picking up a pair of these because my mother had similar pieces in her own collection, as well as she had some similar brooches. And for those of you who do have some of the vintage Trafari pieces that have both the pearls and the mill grain detailing in them, this is actually a very similar style to that. So if you appreciate those pieces from the 1950s, this is definitely a fabulous one. And this is also a very tasteful earring to wear for those of you who like the look of fine jewelry, but you like something that is a bit more conservative. So when you are going out and you don't want to wear something as flashy but you do want something to wear that is in the tradition of both a pearl with just a hint of a sparkle this is absolutely a perfect pair to wear under those circumstances uh, it's also one that you can easily wear during the daytime if you like being able to set the tone of your look of having something being a little more elevated uh you know think our classic 1950s styling our classic 1960s styling these would still be appropriate to wear for daytime as well whether you're going to wear your hair up or down so that's something that i love to remind people over yes they're classy and they can dress up an outfit a jeans a tee and a cardigan that's always what i like to remind people also this looks great with your traditional strand of pearls I think Teresa had said that she had watched some of our videos and I had talked about how that this goes all the way back to when my grandmother, I actually inherited my grandmother's pearls. This wouldn't be a pair of earrings that I would definitely wear with a classic strand of pearls. I would wear it with something like this with just a black little sort of shell with the lace, but I'd also very comfortably wear this with a twin set, cardigan set uh, in both the fall. Megan says she's wearing pearls tomorrow. Wow. Okay. Someone's ringing my bell. I love when people already know what they're going to wear tomorrow. I am such, I am, that is so my style. <laughs> I am so much the person. Um, I am so much the person I do like with YouTube. And since I am trying to do more of that and everything, I do plan on talking more about how that it's true. Uh, I go through long periods of time where I try to shop my closet and I try to just make as many different looks as I can, both based on what I have going on, but also I try to make as many different looks as I can reusing things and then just adding jewelry and accessories to change the look of it. So I'm obviously very passionate about that. So I just love being able to kind of pull everything all together, but I do love planning to be ahead. I just, that's, I'm like a little kid. I so you all know my daughter, Victoria, she's, um, she's going to Loyola. She moves in on uh, August 24th. So if I'm a little emotional over here, <laughs> you're learning the reason why. Uh, so my daughter's going to college uh, at Loyola, but I, I'm, I'll show you over the weekend because we're having her graduation party on, yeah, on Sunday. But I did make this really, I made this big banner with her all throughout the years. And with the big banner that I made her, I'm trying to decide, I like these earrings going both directions. Uh, I had her pictures going all the way back to uh, when she was in kindergarten and first grade. I was even able to find her preschool pictures. And I was just thinking to myself, even back then, I was like, wow, I was like, we used to pick out all your clothes the night before. I've been doing this for a long time. We were talking to her about, you know, what she was packing and getting ready to take to school and things. And I was just reminding her, I was like, you know, there's nothing wrong with planning ahead. I was like, 
you should be really we should be really organized about how you're gonna pack your stuff even though you're close enough to come home see i don't wear pierced earrings very much that's the reason why if you see me struggling i wear clip earrings primarily because i just do and so these are not signed but they feel like monet they have the look and the feeling of 1980s monet but i do like them because they go with a lot of different fun cute other pink pieces that we have here and they do have that 1980s glam enamel style they feel very 1980s um Poly lily pulitzer and palm beach styling to me which is kind of fun because i had just found victoria's first birthday picture in which she's wearing a lily pulitzer uh dress inside of it and i just thought to myself i was like you know if i can remember what they wore all the way were when they took their first birthday pictures. <laughs> I was like, it just goes to show how fun it is to be able to pass memories along and pass things down. And even as a mom, you even think about what your children are wearing and just, oh, sorry, I'm getting emotional again. <laughs> it's been, but I will show you, I have all of these different things of her wearing them all throughout the years. And I was talking to her about how that Part of the reason why she she was saying she's like i was always so well dressed and i was like because i have planned and planned and planned what you were gonna wear and i was gonna wear and your sister was gonna wear mr michael i plan what he's gonna wear too but he is a little picky now as you know he would just live in anything that said chicago cubs or baseball rocks and you saw his shirt earlier that said i'm breaking my own record at this mr michael's uh, party line right now. So this is the, these are the 1980s earrings with the pink and the enamel wear. It's a really pretty mauve color. I really like that pink Palm Beach style. Um, there's a really great blogger too. Also, uh, she also has a vintage shop. She doesn't really sell very much jewelry. She sells a lot of Palm Beach stylings. Um, let's see, Michelle says, it's so good. I'm so happy to see all of you. It's the best medicine of all. Gail sent me a nice message earlier. I didn't have a chance to respond to her. I was actually taking care of my dad at the time that she had actually mentioned me. Um, he is home, by the way. He is now like on his like 10th round of IV antibiotics. Um, when I get off of here, I'll be going over there to help make sure that he gets into bed okay. Uh, it's a tag team between my sister and I. Also, my sister's due to have her baby on August 15th. But I'm telling you, I'm not even sure she's going to make it to Victoria's graduation party on Sunday. So <laughs> I might be telling you I'm going to be an auntie again sooner than you think. So, And she's having a little boy. So Joseph Gabriel. So Gabriel the angel after um, our little twins who are in heaven looking down at us. So I have got this large, beautiful pink medallion brooch on. And I have this very beautiful pink rhinestone bracelet. And I have on the pink enameled earrings. So for those of you who are my pink girls, I'm also trying not to choke myself. I'm just trying to show you all the beautiful pinks that we have. Um, yes, I'm happy that my dad is home too. Um, nobody likes being in the hospital. It's just, it's nobody likes, nobody likes being in the hospital ever. Uh, I am, I do... I always do say, though, time and time again, though, I'm very grateful for anybody who works in the medical industry, though, especially nurses. So, and now also, as long as we're talking about all these gorgeous pink pieces that we have, although I really like the way that this pink bracelet goes with this brooch. So this brooch is beautiful because this one's got different shades of pink and purple. And as you can see, it looks very even like it pops differently. This one pops differently with the black because it has the dark gunmetal setting. This one has got the gold and it looks like it's a little bit of like a lace filigree style design. It's a medallion. It's a more traditional mid-century modern styling with it. And it has this red pink Aurora Borealis styling to it. This one is not signed, but I'm like 99% sure it's a Cora or a Lisner just by the workmanship on the back, the way that the plating is, um, the attachment of the pin back on the back of it. It's got the clasp that sits on it with a little bit of a rivet. Uh, it is definitely, but it is really pretty because of the way that the rhinestones are set in this sort of lace cutout style design. So what's fun about it is that 
you get this hint of sparkle, but you have to kind of look at it in order to see it. But it's another great one. I Both of these pieces I really love. Uh, with the pink, with the pink rhinestones. I think that for those of you who just love putting pinks together, all of these pieces look super nice together. We also have got some pink that falls really pretty with both of these pieces as well as I like the pink tourmaline. I have to look and send, again, I'm, I'm looking at, we have a beautiful pink tourmaline, a wide band channel set ring. This is just so gorgeous um, with this, particular and this particular piece as well as it looks really great with this particular bracelet and you can also pick up the mauve details if you want the deeper pink with the 1980s so these are all excellent choices of things to be able to put all together and let's see what else do we have that is going on here we had a lot of really pretty pieces this week and i didn't even get through all of them because we're kind of pacing ourselves um we do i do love this bracelet though because it goes with so many different pink pieces that we have and the weather's supposed to be nice this weekend too so we're a little late for having our graduation party but with my dad being in the hospital it was a little hard to kind of pull everything off i was a little nervous we weren't even going to get to have it this weekend this is a West German piece. This is a 1950s piece. This one's got the opaline rhinestones with it with some faux pearls. And then it's got the traditional filigree styling with it. It also has the, thanks Sparky. Sparky just climbed right up on the chair over here and there was like a little box and he just knocked it right over. Oh, we call him the world's best labradoodle because he is he is a very sweet dog. He is the absolute sweetest. He's just a really sweet, beautiful, um, but he is a Labradoodle. He just has such a hard time calming down. <laughs> this is an opaline with faux pearls, and it's a nice oval style. It's a nice fob style. I had posted a while back a really great picture. Um, it was a beautiful 1950s black cocktail dress and instead of having a traditional rhinestone necklace it had a brooch detailing very similar to kind of the style that i had and she had it sort of umpire waist and i think she had it like featured like right here like with the belt and it just looked so pretty against the belt and i just sort of when i see this piece that's exactly what i think of i think that would be such a pretty way to wear this piece if you were going to wear it uh, on a belt styling. Um, you could wear it at, at an umpire or even lower if you like wearing something right at the waist. This one is pretty because for those of you who like any of the iridescent styling to it, that's exactly what it has. It's got the little iridescent beads to it. And then it has the, per the pearl details as well too. And these are opalines. Are, these are those ones that if you put them up underneath the black light, they like glow bright green like they have that vaseline green to them so when you put them underneath the black light you see that bright fluorescent green color um that the opaline is being lit up with that styling so uh oh megan said she's watching rain yes uh, you know what i am watching rain and i go through periods of um i see a lot of people didn't really like the spanish princess and i liked the spanish princess oh it was such a long time for her and Harry to get together, but but I liked her, so I, I stuck around for it. But then Rain was recommended to me because I liked that, and I do like Rain a lot. I just find that it's not it's one that I have to want to watch, whereas it's like The Crown, even though I've watched it a million times, or Mrs. Maisel, I've watched a million times, like I can watch it over and over again. Rain, I like it, and I'm only into the second season, so I guess I'll have to keep going with it. So this is such a fun piece, though. So I really, I really, really like this one a lot. I think there's also uh, the Tudors, too. I said there also that also. I don't know. It's summer, so I'm not watching. I don't... I don't, I don't watch much TV. I mean, for me to say that I watch TV, I don't really watch very much TV. I play with jewelry and I cook and I do a lot of house projects. I just wallpapered the basements. That's the big joke over here in my neighborhood is, is it wouldn't be a weekend if one of the neighbors didn't walk by and ask what I was doing and I didn't say I wasn't wallpapering something. 
I have an affinity for wallpaper. Gail knows that. Gail knows that. I like, I love Sarah Richardson also. Yes, I wash and I fold laundry. We're also have a very pretty pair of sterling silver and marcasite earrings that go really pretty with these sterling silver and marcasite rings that we have. So we've got an oval sterling silver marcasite uh, and it's a sterling silver and we have a mother of pearl and sterling silver marcasite ring. We also have got a marcasite and a blue crystal domed. So this goes really pretty also. I have the earring on so you can see the link, but for those of you who like being able to see the details of the way that the marcasite is, you can see this is the oval in the earring. These are the marcasites in the rings. And then we have the marcasite um, with the jet as well. So these are gorgeous. Yes. And you know, Sarah Richardson, she just recently, she did another special, I think it's actually over on YouTube. She did another special featuring her house that she has built off on this like remote island. It took a long time to build and everything like that, but oh, the design details and the wallpaper. <laughs> uh, but we do have some really pretty sterling silver pieces. And they go really pretty with all the sterling silver marcasite pieces that we have. There's at least one other sterling silver marcasite brooch that we had just recently too. That one might have sold. But if you're looking for a pair of marcasite earrings, because maybe you either have other marcasite jewelry, or if you are looking for a pair of classic sterling silver earrings, this is a great pair. And these really are very sparkly. So beautiful. So we just, we also got those. Have we talked about the West German piece? Oh, we have this really fun zebra. So this one is another awesome one. This one actually came from the same collector. Remember I was talking about at the very beginning of the evening, um, the lady who collected all the coin jewelry. Uh, this actually, so she also likes figurals. So this um, large zebra, and he's heavy. He, he is heavy. He'd be probably better suited to being on a thicker fabric than this little sort of lacy chiffon style, but we have a really nice, big, large zebra. This one's a super fun one with the enamel work on it. In fact, I have a red Armani blazer. Maybe tomorrow I'll try him on with that and then shoot a picture of it with that because that would be really pretty with that sort of styling with it. So, but for those of you who love large figural jewelry, um, yes, He'd be super on a handbag or a hat. Yeah, he'd be fabulous on a clutch, like a satin clutch or one of the clutches that Stacy from Darling Clutch Co. makes. Um, he would be awesome, absolutely, on one of those. And, yes, he'd be really great on a hat, too. He'd be really good on a winter coat, though, or on a larger, thicker fabric also. And he would be really cool, actually. Hmm. Oh, I don't have, like, just a chunky gold chain. I was going to say. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Let's go to the videotape, as I say. Let's see if we have something. I don't know if I have a brooch converter candy. I promise I didn't go anyplace. Just looking to see. I bet you if we played with it. I bet you it looked really nice actually on a chain. All layered up, all chunky. Well, usually I can find everything right away. I don't know. We'll see if maybe we can do, I don't have, I, I'm sure I can find the brooch converters as well. I probably would not wear him on something like this, but my guess is that if you had a really chunky necklace, let's get the links right. For those of you who are joining me live, thank you for your patience. You never know. I am going to try to grab something from a tray or something like that from something else. I have to figure out how to do it. But, oh, wait, yeah, I think maybe if you do it through the double link here. Don't quote me. There we go. Yeah, you could definitely turn this guy into a cool pendant. You'd have to play with him. You could probably use a different kind of brooch converter, but you could definitely wear it, layer him up on other gold jewelry, and you could wear him as a cool pendant too. 
And so for those of you who love to layer up pieces and you love that chunky 1980s gold styling, he'd be fun. Plus, zebra is a sign of balance. It's a sign of strength. It's uh, because of the black and the white stripes. It's considered to be a animal that promotes harmony. So who doesn't need a little bit more of that? And for those of you who are looking for a classic, really gold, gorgeous necklace, I know I've turned on a lot of beautiful gold necklaces. This is from a different collection, um, but it's equally as fabulous. It's the stirrup, stirrup link gold necklace that we have. And I'm glad I just pulled it out of the drawer because it just reminds me how fabulous and awesome this one is. And we'll kind of wind down and we'll show, we had some awesome enameled earrings. We had two pieces that were from Swarovski. This one is a really cool one. This one is worth going to take a closer look at over on the website. So this one is signed uh, DSC. And that is actually the predecessor to the Swarovski Swan Signature. It's for the Daniel Swarovski Company. Um, and it's when he started making jewelry um, for the department stores. And we had another piece that was from um, him earlier that had the other black enamel work, but that one is already sold and off to a new home. But I do love this one as well. I like the way that that flat link chain lays against the neck. So another really great one. This one also looks really good um, with other rhinestone pieces, other classic enameled styling pieces as well too. And again, I'm sorry if I'm like, trying to figure out just the right place to put it. So Rhonda says there are too many beautiful pieces. 365 days a year, every day is a day to have a, every day is your runway, as I say. Every day is your opportunity to uh, dress up. Every day is your day to be your best version of yourself. Every day is for you to live your life to the fullest. And every day is to share your sparkle and your personal style everywhere you go. I truly, truly mean that. Uh, I mean, I think that the jewelry is empowering and it can also elevate your look and it's unique. You can't find it any other place. Um, and it's just tons of fun. And on that note, Mr. Michael knows what time it is. It's like he was like right on cue. So Michael, what sport have you been enjoying most with the Olympics so far? Tell us. Ping pong. Ping pong. Yes. What's so cool the about the next Olympics? I can I can go to the Olympics and I can play ping pong. Oh. If I'm good enough. <laughs> What's gonna happen to baseball? I'm gonna do that too. You're gonna do that too. So Mr. Michael is getting ready for his fall baseball season. He will be playing fall ball, aren't you? Yep, you're gonna be playing fall ball. Mr. Michael is going to be playing on a 9U travel team, so he's going to be getting to practice all the time. Uh, so he'll be keeping mom nice and busy. But in the meantime, we're going to thank all of you who participated last week and telling us about what your favorite piece was over at Vintage Meat Modern. So we had some very nice ladies watch our Facebook Live last week, both live and in person and on the replay, and they posted in the comments what their favorite pieces were. So I have put all of their names inside of this glass box and Mr. Michael is going to help me out. Okay, go ahead, close your eyes, pick a name. Somebody gave Mr. Michael a blue popsicle, I can tell. You have a little bit of blue still left on your nose. Elaine Schwab. Elaine Schwab. Sorry. That's also, all right. Sorry I said your name. Elaine Schwab, you are our $25 gift card winner. Okay. Please email okay, go us. on that narwhal. <laughs> he's he's going to go draw everybody in our wall. Um, Elaine Schwab, congratulations. You have won a $25 gift card to Vintage Meat Modern. So please connect with us over at help at vintagemeatmodern.com and we will help you out and get you set up. So for those of you who are um, joining us, there's always lots of fun reasons to be part of the party at Vintage Meat Modern. We love getting to do fun things like that. So yes, congratulations. So I want to thank everybody for all of you for joining me tonight and also thank you for all of your recent orders i've had a lot of fun wrapping things up and i always say it's you know one fun thing is, is that 
there's always certain trends of things that sort of kind of go out together, certain styles, certain colors. I feel like even though so many of you live in different parts of the world and you have different styles and things like that, it's almost like the world connects you with all of your different sort of styles, even though you don't know each other. Although, who knows, you might be passing each other on the street and you don't even know it. But that's the reason why I smile every morning when I think of all of you, when I wrap up all of your orders, when we join each other here during these types of times and everything like that. It gives me so much joy to celebrate the joy of jewelry with all of you. So on that note, I want to thank you all so very, very much. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day. Big round of applause to the lovely uh, Leanne, who has been here dropping uh, links for us all evening. And for those of you who want to go and visit the collection now. I have a question for who's the person that won the award again. Elaine. Yes. Elaine, you have a choice. Oh, Oh, okay. It's either a light narwhal or a narwhal by a or a narwhal that's preparing to be dumped. A narwhal that's what? Oh, a narwhal is going to be a ship. Yep, but it's going to dump. Oh, okay. For those Elaine might not know. Mr. Michael is very into the series Narwhal and Jelly, and he likes to draw narwhals. So he's going to let Elaine choose whether it's going to be a dark colored narwhal or a narwhal that's going to look like it's light colored. So just let us know if you want the dark colored narwhal or the light colored narwhal. Mr. Michael will pick up his drawing with the jewelry <laughs> tomorrow. Just leave so, it in the comments. We will. will. <laughs> So, so thank you. So thank you everybody for joining us. We'll let you know how the ping pong is going. If you have any orders, don't worry. They're going to ship out tomorrow. We shipped a bunch of things out today. Uh, but there's tons of gorgeous pieces as always. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Mr. Michael, you want to say a good night and farewell to everyone? I was going to make, make a picture quickly saying... <laughs> Good night. Drop it in the comments. Well, I know, but it's 8.38 and mom's got to go help put grandpa to bed now. So. <laughs> Just that has to happen. Yes. All right, friends. Thank you all very much. Have a wonderful evening and I will see you all and Mr. Michael will all see you again real Drop soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs>